is Nancy Kelton, and I'm the President and CEO of the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. Um, and I want to welcome all of you here to this event today. Uh, this is a phenomenal turnout, and we're thrilled with the response. Uh, at this time, I ask you all to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and we'll have all the mayors start us off on this. So I'll wait till everyone's up. So this is our sixth annual Mayor's Breakfast, and I can absolutely say without a doubt, this is the biggest one we've ever had. Uh, we were very pleased to have the event started at uh, the Holiday Inn Express with Panit Kapoor, so we appreciate all that he did to really build this up, and we just knew this year uh, we had outgrown um, that place. We had 78 people last year, and now we have over 200 people. So, um, still looking for that convention center in Palm Bay to be built, so we can be there next year. And so, uh, we're very excited. And I just want to um, thank Jose Luis Rivera Villamana. Long name. Um, he is actually videotaping this for us today. Uh, we realized that this is a pretty phenomenal event, I think very unique, and so we wanted to capture some of it on video. So all the mayors have graciously said it's okay. Uh, and so we'll see some of that on YouTube. And for those of you that are following us, the Palm Bay Chamber Facebook page is pretty phenomenal. We are really trying to capture all the great things that we're doing. So check that out. And if you haven't liked us on Facebook, please do check in. Um, and normally at this time, we go on to the event and tell you about our events at the end, but by the end of the event, everybody wants to leave and then you won't hear of all the fabulous things the Chamber is actually doing. So this is my update on what's happening at the Chamber. Uh, a few highlights, actually we have uh, next month, June 1st, is our keynote speaker, Desmond Blackburn, who is here, the Brevard Superintendent of Schools. He'll be giving us an update on what's happening um, with the Brevard County Schools. Then on June 6th, we've added a meetup. We're actually just want to have fun. So uh, it's Broken Barrel. It's June 6th, uh, so 6 6 at 6 p.m. So just come out. You don't have to sign up for anything. We'll just be there. June 15th is our speed networking. Yesterday we had our second webinar that we've ever done on perfecting your elevator pitch. So you should have it perfected by June 15th because that is our speed networking. If you want to meet a lot of people short period of time, it's kind of card bombing, but then you get to follow up with people after. It's a great way to meet a lot of people uh, very quickly. We've actually started something new, I think, for a chamber. We're doing a mastermind. A lot of chambers have leads clubs. Uh, those are great. It's a great way to get leads. But if you really want help on your business to focus specifically on your business, a mastermind is perfect because you have... 10 to 12 people in the group that are committed to helping your business grow. Uh, there is an application process, there is a huge commitment, it's uh, not expensive, it's $25, uh, but it is a time commitment, so we want to make sure that we have the right people in that group um, uh, that will continue to participate. So on June 16th you can get all the details. We do have our calendar on the front desk, so you'll see all of this. Uh, but once again, we have another webinar coming up on the 21st, and that's um, about strategic partnerships and how to make very good strategic partnerships that are beneficial for everyone. And then we have our um, entrepreneurial breakfast on June 29th with Debbie Good. She's the partner at Car Riggs and Ingram. If you've never done uh, Myers Briggs or the DISC program, I know a lot of the big organizations do that, but this is called True Colors and it's your relational style. It's how you are most comfortable. Um, relating to other people. So if you're a salesperson, and we all are, just so you know, we are all salespeople, uh, whether we're selling ourselves or a product. Um, it's good to know the people that you're um, approaching, so what kind of style they are, because I think you all know if you're um, the outgoing, family-oriented person, if somebody gets right down to business, you're not comfortable. You want to talk about the dogs and the kids and the family and what's going on, whereas if you're gold and task-oriented, you do not want to hear any of that. You just want to know the facts and get to it. Uh, if you're the orange, you want to be the life of the party and woohoo, and the facts don't really count as much and you want to have fun, so the sales pitch better be a good fun event. And then if you're green, you might be the engineer who needs a million facts before you can ever make a decision and then ask for a million more and then a year later you make your decision. So, But it's good to know those things. So uh, come out on the 29th, like I said, that's True Colors and it's going to be at the Holiday Inn Express uh, on Malabar Road. And I think that was it. So now I am going to welcome up our presenting sponsor, Health First. We have uh, Andrew Weintraub. He is the Vice President of Sales and Business Development with Health First Health Plans.
excited about insurance, huh? So, um, I, first I'd like to, on behalf of Health First, thank the uh, Palm Bay Chamber, the entire team from the Chamber for putting together a really engaging uh, program and for our speakers and Dignan. Thank you very much. And in fact, to get to the, uh, to the program, what I'd like to do is just give my time back to the program and everyone have a great morning and see you afterwards. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Bigger, the chairman of the board of directors for Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce, and I would uh, like to invite Gio to be our coordinator, presenter, everything for today. Thank you, Gio. Good morning, everyone. I'm Gio Roper. I'm now CEO of Roper and Partners Public Relations. I got a promotion. Thank you very much. Anybody who's not an elected official here tonight? Okay. Or this morning, I should say. It's like, wow! Everybody's here. I, I don't know if Nancy invited me here because I'm such a government geek and I, and I love to be involved, or because I was a bouncer for Brassie's nightclub back in the 80s, and, and she knows I can contain a crowd if need be, so but we're going to do this upright. Uh, it is really great to be here today. Thank you so much, Nancy, for having me. Uh, truly an honor to be around, really, the brain trust of Brevard County is here. So it's a, it is a great opportunity, and so everybody, uh, hang on tight. We've got a great presentation to do. We are going to allow each of our mayors five minutes. Five minutes. Nancy has the timer. <laughs> and uh, so if you are approaching that, <clears throat> She'll give you like the, you want to give them just the one minute, yeah, warning. <laughs> give, give them the finger, Nancy, and uh... <laughs> In the kindest possible way, unless you are. <laughs> All those southern sayings we're going to use this morning, keep me in mind. Uh, we will go by, in, in, in so that uh, nobody feels that, uh, you know, why don't we go alphabetically by name, we're going to go alphabetically by community. So I think this is going to work out very well. Like I said, you have five minutes. Update us on what's going on in your wonderful towns, villages, and cities. Let us know what's going, uh, anything on the horizon, and uh, just give us everything you got. Be exciting. <laughs> Uh, then I won't even do the tell jokes thing. Please humor us. Uh, so first of all, we're going to start off with uh, Bob Hogue. He is the mayor of Cape Canaveral. Bob. Good morning, and thanks for having me here. I blow over. Uh, I got my notes here, so I don't hopefully forget that. Uh, I'm Bob Hogue, mayor of Cape Canaveral. I've been doing there for since November, but I've been on the board almost 20 years, off and on, serving the city on the council. I've been on the board prior to that. But anyway, uh, not for myself, but we got a lot going on in that little town. Uh, you know, through there. We, we are underway with a new city hall, approximately 17,000 square feet, and that should be occupied by April next year, hopefully. Uh, North Atlantic streetscape, we're redoing that complete street from the port all the way up to... <laughs> Get the mic a little sense We're doing North Atlantic just like we did <clears throat> Ridgewood Avenue along the ocean. It'll be streetscapes, uh, sign verbiage for different attractions and so forth. New lighting, solar lighting, which we went into on Ridgewood, it's working great. We also... Uh, have a new park north of Manatee Park, which we utilize that so much we decided we're going to do another one up on the river, north of there. And we just completed the pavilion and all the uh, catwalk, the uh, kayaking, we got a kayaking launch. We're out for bid right now on a basketball court. We're going to have a nine hole putting green up there. So we're into the park bid is pretty heavy. We're also trying to Work to deal with the county on uh, Cherry Down Park, which the county has been trying to 
offer it. But we got a few gigs we got to work out. Uh, into our Indian River Lagoon, which I'm a very big fan of, wastewater, storm water, and so forth. That's kind of my my field where I look at. We're uh, we just completed a new two and a half million gallon storage tank for our reuse facilities. We're now at a capacity of four and a half million a day that we can store. Um, we got uh, refurbished two lift stations. We've moved one completely from the right of way of the street out into our park, Manatee Park. We kind of camouflaged that in the corner. So that was a quite an expensive move, a lift station plus refurb one completely. So we're doing a lot to help the lagoon in our city. And we're right on the lagoon between the ocean and the lagoon. We're also replacing all of our stormwater uh, collectors where the infalls go, we're replacing those with what they call a type C collector that traps all the uh, all the debris from the street before it even gets into the system. And we're doing those like four, six, eight at a time along along the roads. We're uh, also going to be doing a complete infiltration system of our ballpark. The whole community ballpark, the whole complex will be dismantled after Little League season and we are going to put in an infiltration system under the ball field that will probably take 30 to 40 acres of smart water and put it back into the ground instead of the outfalls into the river. We're also upgrading our outfalls. We got three in the budget this coming year to upgrade the outfalls going into the IRC to a, what they call a third generation alcohol, it's going to collect the oils off the road. It's, it already collects the debris, but now we're getting into the, the road waste, built uh, fertilizers, grass clippings, and all that stuff. We're going to do three a year. That was my demand, is one of my goals for the city, is to do three of those a year. And we got that in our budget this year to, to do three alcohols. I'd like to see them all get closed off system that's my goal before I leave it. And also <clears throat> for the parent land, I just talked with Kurt, he's here today. And I want to thank Bert personally for the hardening of all the system along A1A and back along our Ocean Beach Boulevard. We're getting rid of the wood poles little by little and I'm thankful for the parent land. And we also had them heavily involved in our new lift station move. We had had to run a home primary service for that to the lift station, which they did in a very expedient time for us. And that's about my report. Uh, the city's going so fast I can't, can't keep up with it. <laughs> Hopefully it just keeps going. Thanks a lot.